RTP X's new true crime documentary, The Football Fraudster, tells the story of the con man who scammed multiple victims, including women he dated, out of thousands of pounds. My ability to trust people now is different. We said all the right things at the right times. Very charismatic, confident. He played on the things that he knew was important to me. There was no reason for me to question it. Every time he gets caught, he reinvents himself. He changes his identity. He changes the way he looked. He created the perfect man for me. Stealing your money? Ah, you're sick, man. Well, joining me now is Love Island star Georgia Steele, who you just saw there, and is amongst those sharing her story in the documentary. Um, Georgia, it's a remarkable story. I mean, oh. this guy was a very smart, calculated yeah. person. He managed to weave this web of deceit that so many people seem to just get stuck in. Yeah. Um, and you, you met him in a nightclub yes. in London, random night yeah. out. Random. And something clicked. Yeah, literally. I was 20 years old, and I think... When he first introduced himself to me, he had no social media platforms and I'd just come off one of the biggest reality TV shows in Europe. Everyone so, knew who you were yeah, and, and you were aware of that. Absolutely. And for him being not like that and not having any awareness with who I was and my past, it made me actually feel that it was genuine, mm -hmm. which is so weird considering the actual outcome. Yes, but you know, we're all relatively trusting, yeah. aren't you? You're not, you're not assuming what's yeah, of about course to happen not, in any no. shape or form. But he told you his name was, at that point, Miguel. Yeah, Miguel Johnson. And that he was a US government agent. Absolutely, yeah. And I had no reason to... Speaking with a very good American oh, accent, we might absolutely add. amazing, like, incredible. And I went to drama school, so I know accents, and his was so slick. He had nothing that made me feel that he was lying. Mm -hmm. Like, it was... Why would I think that if there was no reason for him to give me that? So, you mentioned about no social media platforms. No, He didn't want his picture taken absolutely with you. He was very not. much, oh, that's not yes, for me. I don't want to into that world, absolutely. which, again, again, you find, find that genuine. engaging. And, absolutely, yeah. Um, but it was one evening where you were both out in yes. London and a paparazzi... Yes took a shot of both of you. And I thank that paparazzi. Well, exactly, because that was the beginning of the unravelling of this uh, sort of yeah. very short love story. Yeah, wasn't it? absolutely. Like, if I never had that pap shot, I dread to think what could have happened. Because how would I have actually found out? Because he was so good at what he did. He was so slick. There was nothing to make me think. Because then you got a call from your, yes. your manager. And what, what happened at that um, point? So my manager at the time told me that he was actually a convicted Ford star and I had been going on dates with a criminal. To me, this was absolutely shocking. I was completely devastated because my trust had completely been broken. Um, and it's not even the fact that we weren't even really deep. It was more of the fact that, as a friend, as someone that I was sharing my life with, mm -hmm. going on these dates and opening up to, that whole trust was broken. Mm -hmm. And that's what's hard, I think. Of course. At what point did you realise that there was money missing yeah. from your account? So, when I got told he was a convicted Ford star, I rang my accountant straight after and I checked my accounts and I saw that there was... A lot of money taken out. Um, at this point, I obviously rang my mum, um, rang the police, and from there, everything kind of was taken out of my hands, really. And this was him having copied your yeah, card? Yeah, copied my card, yeah, correct. So I had no way to get out of that. It was as simple as leaving my bag to go to the toilet or leaving my bag in the car to run in and get a scarf from home. It was something as simple as that where my card would have been copied, used took photos of, anything. So I feel if you're a victim in something like this, honestly, there's nothing you can really do to mm -hmm. kind of change it because you're just living normal. Yeah, and so he was basically using one set of victims' credit cards uh, yeah. to, to fund a lifestyle Absolutely. with someone else and to sort of yeah, keep correct. this circle of totally. fraud going. Totally, right? totally, yeah, because he was very showy. He, he liked to make you feel very comfortable. So... It's very clever because then it makes you feel relaxed and he's the last person to, to ever think would take your money because mm -hmm. he makes you feel so relaxed in that way. Um, 
And what's really happening is he's obviously using other people's cards to make you feel that way. And then he well, will he use your, your ring, cards. didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Which you, of With course, bought thought, myself. Yeah. Which you turned out then, it would have been yeah. you buying this? Absolutely, yeah. It was my birthday and he very kindly gave me a diamond ring for my birthday. Um, I was very grateful at the time. And then obviously when I saw the money taken out, that was one of the transactions. So it was very clear to me. I think that was one of the things that really stood out because for a lot of time I was in denial. I was, how could someone do this? I've never met anyone like this. Like, I didn't know how to process it, to be honest. I mean, so. there, there are a lot of people in the documentary affected yeah. in exactly the same way yeah. as you, Georgia. Um, it's called the footballer fraudster yeah. because he, he did play sort of lower league yeah. football in his earlier days. Yeah. And it, it would appear in the documentary he became accustomed to a certain way of life or a life that he thought he, he deserved and wanted. Ridiculous. And therefore yeah. went down this way because his football career was cut short. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a very interesting thing, but a lot of people suffered because of this. How how are you doing now? You talk about trust and trying yeah. to move forward with your life and relationships. You're still such a young girl, yeah. Georgia. It's a horrible thing to have happened so young. Um, I like to turn it into a positive. I was so young when it happened. I think I was about 20. And I'm 25 now, and I've definitely learned how to look at it on a positive note. I feel like... I was a victim, and yes, that's that's very sad and devastating for me, but I'm very lucky to have a platform to kind of help people, I think, mm -hmm. and spread awareness about it. And Mehdi's, I think, a person that will constantly change his identity, and the only way to stop someone like this is to make his identity known and share it with the world, I yeah. guess. Well, he spent uh, a considerable amount of time in prison over the past 20 years for various uh, elements, fraud yeah. certainly being one of them. Um, what would you say to people now? I mean, as you say, it's all about awareness, yeah. but you think he is out of prison now. Yeah, he is. Is he capable of just carrying on? Yeah, well, I feel like it's a pattern. Every time he comes out, he does it again. He commits, commits another crime. And I feel like girls need to be aware of that, really. And the mm -hmm. only way to do that is to speak out about it. And I was so scared to do that, and I think... I just wanted to turn the negative situation into a positive. And if I can help one person, then I've done my job. Well, absolutely. It's, yeah. It is. It's an incredible documentary. It's really fascinating. I mean, he poses a Chelsea player, an American yeah. football player, all sorts of characters. And that's the dangerous yeah. part of all of this, isn't so it? Yeah, so dangerous. Um, Georgia, thank you. And it is very oh. brave to speak out. And you've thank done it incredibly you so well. Um, you can watch The Footballer at Fraudster on ITVX right now. Thank Thanks. you.